Hey friends, it's Exo Man, and uh, let's talk about electricity. Uh, I have a here a uh, double wide mobile home that I am buying. I'm in my due diligence period, and there are electrical issues. Uh, so what we have here is some burned out power outlets, if you if you could call it that. And take a look at this. You see that charring? Very bad charring. That's, that's very dangerous. And someone was in here trying to, to repair this. Look, look, we got live wire sticking out and they were just not knowledgeable about what was going on. And it's just a mess. And they were trying to change the outlets, which is a good thing if you change them to the proper outlets. But the whole problem in this case stems from, did you see that? Yeah, the whole problem in this case stems from faulty outlets that they sell and, and time over years, over a couple of few multiple decades. What you have inside of here, let me grab one and show you. Instead of being wired properly, these outlets are called backstab outlets. You see how you, you just, you can stab, you have an option with it, this type of out, outlet that you can stick the wire in the back. You see that hole, you see that copper in, or that brass inside of this hole right here above my finger. That's kind of a springy piece of brass that you, you push your wire tight into there and it pushes that brass, it depresses it kind of like a spring and holds it, kind of locks the wire in place that's the intention. But what happens over time is that springiness of that brass gives way. It becomes too flexible and you lose a good solid contact and you have arcing. You have shorting, basically. What you should be doing is screwing your wires around these terminals. That's the proper application for this. And that shortcut can end up having a, a home. You can end up burning a home down 20 years later, you know, when this thing is just done. And so what I'm going to do and what I recommend you do, turn your power off, shut your power at your circuit panel and go through and change all these outlets and do them the right way or just buy the, you know, this kind of terminal. And your mystery, your problem may well be solved because that's really all, that's really what it is. I mean, I've done the testing and, and this walkthrough and I have found power, you know, is. Oh, by the way, though, there, there are, of all the outlets in here, those two were just not working. And when I opened this one up and just, you know, just to see if it was a backstab application, and it was, just in moving it, that outlet, it, it created contact and it started working. I got a, I got a signal on that. You hear that? and the one down the line as well, those two that weren't working. So I really didn't have to do anything to get to restore power. Now, like I said, I'm just going to replace everything, every single one of them. And of course, you have to remember any wet spaces like this, where you're in a kitchen and you have a sink, you're gonna to wanna to put GFCI. Here's one right here. This is a, a ground fault circuit interrupter. And basically it just, it shuts off. It, it trips just like a breaker. You see the two switches. If it's get some sort of short or surge. So, and you're also gonna want them anywhere you have wet spaces. And most people know this, most homeowners know this by now. And here would be another spot. And they of course don't have one there. So we're gonna replace that as well with the proper outlet. Another thing that can be a serious problem is your uh, circuit panel. If it is, if the, if the lugs on the breakers are not tightened down properly, and they can loosen up over time, you'd be surprised. But you just want to take this uh, panel cover off, put, shut your main off, and go through or have an, a qualified electrician do this for you if you have any doubts, because uh, it's, it, it's very dangerous. My, my uh, father-in-law bought a home that was b built by the husband, and the husband died messing around with wiring so during the build of the home so um 
be just be very careful but take this panel cover off and go through there and tighten up make sure all the connections are tight phillips screwdriver just go in and torque everything down another thing is some of these houses were wired with aluminum wire which is really not good you want to have copper and fortunately this place has copper wiring throughout so those are things to look out for i hope this video helps you if you have a similar problem and i thank you for watching and be sure to leave your comments in the comments section below i'm sure you have an interesting story to tell and Thank you, and I'll see you on the next video. Be sure to like and subscribe.